Hi guys. Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Tonight, we're going to take a look at Scorpio. Hmm. This is a Scorpio channel, but I don't think we've had like a real Scorpio reading, so we're just going to like follow up a little bit to see where we are. I pre-pulled from the Giant Rider Weight Tarot deck because these cards are huge. I didn't know they were this big, but I shuffled them. I just have to shuffle them differently. Pre-pulled. Tried to record it a few times. That did not work. So let me pre-pull and do my meditation so I can pull the cards and Wheel of Fortune reversed. Okay. In the middle, we have the Hermit. Then we have Eight of Cups. So that kind of, that starts where we are. Um, we, and I can see this too, you feel like, because in this case, I'm, I'm looking at Scorpio for who Scorpio is. Scorpio is an emotional being, water sign, empath feel everything people call you and they don't realize that they put all their dirt on you and they you they basically used you as their release you, you got to stop that the wheel of the 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 wheel of fortune reverse can symbolize a cycle of life it it can also symbolize movement and obviously is fortune but this is reverse so it's not to say that Wheel of Fortune isn't a positive card. It can be, but we just gotta turn it around. All right, as far as I'm concerned, this is about a cycle of life. It's about everything coming together. And I think in Scorpio's mind, it might be reversed, and there's some things that aren't right. That's fair. But the Hermit, taking time and reflecting. Solitude, just withdrawing from everybody, taking few phone calls, realizing what this time is about, because we are in a serious time. And Scorpio, like I said, feels right. All water signs feel. So you're gonna look at Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, water signs, and then on top of that, Scorpio's fixed. Very emotional people. So. Whenever you see a Scorpio go into hermit mode, it is it is necessary. You had to do it. You were to that point. You rock bottom. All right? So then, when we're looking at cups, you know, you you could, because you're a water sign, you could be dealing with Pisces. Another, you could be dealing with Pisces, a Cancer, or another Scorpio, which I don't know what that would be like. That just sounds horrendous. But it's a card of emotions. Okay? It's, it's a card of emotions. Okay? It's also about speedy movement. It's also about power, authority, achievement. Maybe you completed what you wanted to complete, and, and now you're ready to just move on. It could be to another job. It could be to uh, opening your own business where you're graduating from one, one piece of life to another. That's what this all symbolizes to me. It symbolizes, you know, this is, this is where I am. I'm going to figure this stuff out. I'm going to sit, and I'm going to reflect on this. But there are some emotions involved. Now, I could pull a fourth big card, but that's a big risk because these are going to fall. I don't even think these are going to stay up for the next part. Going into Miss Cleo. Tell me what this reading is about, Scorpio. What's going on with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? What's going on with the Hermit? Please clarify this reading. Okay, the world reversed. King of Staffs. Okay. So, whenever we have kings, we're talking about power, authority. It's reversed. That's like stagnant power. I can do something, but I don't necessarily feel like 
moving. Like, I have the power to do what I want. I have the responsibility. But why is it upside down? Okay? It also shows us the world card. That's about completion. All right. Let's see what else is going on. Ten of Cups. Endings. Resolve. Well, we kind of knew that, right? <laughs> but it's Cups. So Cups, again, is about emotions and relationships. It's about also, but it's upright. It could be finality. It could be depletion. It could mean something is over, but the emotions are still there. Eight of Coins. Eight of Coins, is there some sort of, I don't know if there was some sort of loss, something, something happened somewhere. Because when we pull these pentacles, it, it could have been an earth sign. It could be that you're dealing with a Capricorn, a Virgo, a, Virgo, a Taurus. Um, it could be having something to do with money. Tell me a little bit more about money. Tell me a little bit more about money. Some sort of conflict. Conflict about what? That conflict could have been with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some sort of travel. Okay. So, again, there's going to be some sort of swift action. Maybe somebody that you lost contact with, they're going to... Maybe they're going to reach out to you some way. There's going to be some sort of travel. They may just show up at your door. Who knows? Whenever you see pages, that's really about enthusiasm, like confidence, who, who, the nerve, issues. It could, be, um, it could be confidence issues where you feel like you have too much or too little. You could have issues with support. You could be a curious person. Hmm. Nine of Cups. Hmm. Completion. Reflection. Okay, so that kind of backs up Eight of Cups. But that's fullness. It's intensity. It's about as, as, as much emotion as you can get. But it's reversed. Maybe it's about as much disgust. And I never discount Cups. I never look at Cups as if they're swords. It's just feelings that are upside down, but the feelings are still there. They still exist. And especially when you're in Scorpio mode, you can you can love somebody one minute, and the next minute you think, you know what, all right, I see what you did, and I'm mad at you again. So it's like, this is also, you know, the thinking of Scorpio all over the place. The, the thoughts just pop, 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 pop. And that's why we have all these things that are just all over the place. And the funny thing is, to me, it seems like when it comes to, to money with Scorpio, we are such emotional people. Money is not even it. People think it rules our world. It does not. In the grand scheme of things, it does not. People, there are a lot of misconceptions. The high four on. Okay, so this person that you lost communication with, Scorpio, is a person who is a leader. This is, this is a guy who is kind of like the authority figure. He's a traditionalist. Okay. This person, they, I'm trying to figure out why you lost communication with this person. It symbolizes education. A person who takes their education seriously, an authoritative figure who's serious about life. Ten of Wands, yep, you're going to hear from this person. It could be an Aries, Sagittarius, a Leo, okay? action, travel, and when they come back, they're coming back with what they said they were going to get. I don't know what that means. Don't, don't ask. I have no idea. <laughs> Except it's about finality. There's going to be some sort of communication because it, it, it is wise. So there's going to be some communication with this person that you haven't heard from in a while. I personally believe, I don't know, I feel like it could be an Aries. I, could be, I feel like it could be another Earth sign. But the pinnacles are so few, I'm starting to really... Earth. Oh, okay. The lovers. All right. So, whoever the authoritative guy is, 
I think that's who you're thinking about. And I think with this this cycle that you have, I think you're okay when it comes to finances. I think this is about balance with you, finally, because Scorpio is typically all over the place. So I think there are some things coming together. This needs to turn around, but this is not a bad card, especially when it is followed by the Hermit, because you are reflecting on all these things. But you, And it's, it's not like you're torn. I think you're okay here. You can focus more. And I want to be very clear about something, too. During this last, whatever happened over these last couple of months, because it was just complete towers for Scorpio. It was just a nightmare. Focus on your businesses. This time that you have to yourself or whatever time, let's put it this way. Whenever a situation changes, right, because change is inevitable, you want to take that change and do something with it. So, for instance, this whole thing with people being locked down and all this other stuff. A lot of people said, you know what, I have time, I need to have something else. And I think Scorpio may have found something else that they're happy with, that's not going to feel like work for them, although it is work. They're thinking about it, this is something they thought about, things are coming together, this is the cycle coming together. So now, dealing with these emotions over here, this person who is uh, kind of like an authoritative, traditionalist person, he's, he's educated. See, he's in this card reading, he's the high orphan, the higher font. Or she but this is a, a fairly that's an educated person but it's also a traditional person a spiritual person and then communication the lovers so whoever you lost contact with I think I'm not gonna say I think well there will be some kind of swift communication there's gonna be a lot of communication you'll see you can actually Scorpio you might start hearing from a lot of people that you um, didn't think you'd hear from because because when things change like like I was saying earlier like I think August 3rd we have a new moon coming or a full moon so whenever you see changes like that basically all the tower moments that you experience I think what a month or so back two months back those tower moments they weren't just yours alone. A lot of people's tower moments happened. Which is why you heard some from so many people that you haven't heard from. One thing about Scorpio people is their relationships may not necessarily always work out. But these people that they've had encounters with in their lives, they never stop communicating. These these people always know that they can come back and talk to Scorpio because we're very forgiving people. We learn to balance things out. We learn to compartmentalize and put you where you belong. You're not a bad person. You just weren't for me. Therefore, when I get the hello from you every once in a while, it's not shocking, but I want you to look at the number of people who have communicated with you when their towers fell too because they needed to reach out to people who had souls that were kind and they could reach out to them. So that's why you're getting these. And when you get um, calls or text messages from people who you feel like, oh, they, made a, they ghosted me or they made a diss me a little bit. And, oh, now you want, don't even look at it like that. They're coming back to you because you have an open soul. But you need to be mindful of uh, being people's punching bag and letting people call you up and tell you all their life and all this stuff because they know you're an empath. You take it with you. And it becomes your problem. And now they've released their crap on you. And that's what we're trying to avoid. So... Uh, yeah, this, this authoritative figure, I advise you to stand your ground. I advise you to, um, keep doing what you've been doing in terms of your business ideas and development. I would continue doing them because you have to understand something. Everybody went through this growth moment, but nobody felt it like these water signs. People experience things differently in water signs. There is no living in between. All right. It is, it is. When I get up in the morning, I got to be here at a certain time. It's, it's, I, I'm trying to figure out the best way to explain it. Scorpio see nothing but the beginning, and we see nothing but the end. The living in between is always a challenge for people, especially Scorpio, who are water signs. So now that there's some sort of balance, and this reading is not going to resonate with everybody, it absolutely is not. Because everybody's not in this place. I mean, if you can't take... Um, 
a 30 year old Scorpio male or female in and and have the same reading and it apply the same as it would to like I don't know a 20 year old or I don't know somebody who's 50 it's just it's very different so you take what you can from the reading um, but I would advise you also just to tie this together I would advise you also um, this person who's coming back you need to stand your ground and you need to let them know that this is a new me and I know you're the new you, but this is how we're going to get along. And this is how the dynamic of the relationship is going to be. And it's still up to you. You still have other choices, Scorpio. You don't have to take anybody from the past back. You can entertain who you want if you're single. I mean, if these are marriages we're talking about, we definitely want you to try and work those out. That's something that you want to meditate, seek God, Yah, whoever it is. You want to seek about that because that to me is that's a covenant. All right, when you got somebody to love you, you want to honor the covenant because I think a lot of women need to understand that a lot of women in this world will not ever get married. So, if you were blessed enough to get married, you want to do all you can to fight for your marriage. Okay, I'm not fussing, but um, my takeaway, hmm. You need to really, whoever this authoritative figure is, you need to stand your ground. You need to show them the new you and tell them you are not accepting the old them. You come in new, they got to come new. Either that or you just go new, new and get you a new boo. <laughs> that was so whack. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right, peeps. Thank you so much. Thank you, Scorpio. Thank you, all signs. Y'all, meditate a little bit more, man. We got some issues. Make sure you find all ways to get this peace, get this information. Make sure you read. Do make sure you got your information because you know people burning documents and books. You want to have that stuff in your head. Okay. All right. And again, Miss Cleo, we want to thank you. I want to thank you so much, Miss Virgo. For Miss Cleo, which I know you're being funny. <laughs> Thanks. Bye, guys. Kisses.